Hey what's up everyone, so in this video I'll be showing you 7 applications that you must install. So all of these applications are relatively new or they are very good and they aren't known by a lot of people. So these applications will either add a new feature to your phone or, or enhance something that your phone already does. And all of these applications are very useful so let's get started with the video. The first app on the list is Macdroid. So it's a task automation app. You might have heard about similar apps like Tasker. But those applications can be complicated for many users as it requires a lot of practice beforehand. Macdroid is a lot easier to use. The UI is clean and provides step-by-step -step logical process. So here's how you can add an automated task. You just need to open this app, then add a trigger, then you need to select a task. So for triggers, there are many options here like airplane mode changed, Android Wear disconnected, battery level, call missed, daytime location trigger and many more and for each trigger you can select a task for example you can create a task when the battery decreases to 20 percent you can turn off several features of the phone you can create much more useful stuff like ask this device to notify you if it's going to rain today and you can ask this device to notify you if any bluetooth device gets disconnected the possibilities are endless here, it just depends on your creativity and how much you use this app. So overall it's a great app, the links below in the description box and I am sure that you will enjoy using this app. The next app on the list is a to z camera. So it's one of the best camera app for Android available on the Play Store. And this app has got a lot of features which will enhance your photos if your photographic skills are good. So once you open this app, below you will find various manual controls. You can change the shutter speed, exposure, ISO, white balance and manual focus. And unlike many previous manual camera app, this one works flawlessly. I didn't find this app crashing when taking pictures. All manual controls did work in my test. And the UI is also simple. To change any parameter, you just need to select the option and slide the slider on the bottom right corner. By default, everything is set to auto. And this app also lets you to capture videos while providing manual controls. So just as taking a picture, you can just change all of the controls here and take videos. But while capturing videos, I did found this app crashing once in a while. And then from here, you can change the camera grid lines and then you can change the format. And this app also allows you to take pictures in raw format. You can change between several formats. You can choose raw, JPEG or both. And every element in this app is arranged properly so that you can have access to all options whenever you need them quickly. Overall, I think it's a great app to enhance your capabilities of your camera. While taking pictures on the go using the auto mode, I think the default camera app will do a better job. But when you have got time and you can adjust some settings, this app will do a good job. The next app on the list is OZ YouTube. So it's a YouTube app, but modded to provide additional useful features. So it looks and feels exactly same as any official YouTube app, but you can download the video right from the app itself. So you just select a video and then press this download button, then you can select the quality and its format and that video will be downloaded in your phone right from this application. And this app functions exactly same as the official YouTube app. Another great feature is playback when the screen is turned off or playing any music in the background while using any another app in the top. It's something similar to what YouTube Red offers but it's free. So instructions on how to install this app is in the description box below. As this app is not available in the Play Store, you must follow the instructions linked below in the description box if you want to try it. The next app on the list is Round Me. So this app will work best if you have a VR or a Google Cardboard. And this app can be used without any of those accessories, but the experience is a lot better if you have them. So basically it's a hub for 360 content. As you can see here, there are amazing visuals. From above here, you can choose locations from a map and you can see videos about that particular location. I really like this app and think you guys also need to try this. And if you have a VR or a Google Cardboard, this is a must have app for you. The next app on the list is Pulsar Music Player. So it's a music player that offers great design, organization and features that every music player must have. 
So in the main screen you can browse music by albums, artists, folders stored in the SD card, genre or alphabetically. The design is based on the material design and it looks good. Holding down a song allows you to add it to the playing queue which is a great feature. There are few auto generated playlists like most played, recently played and a lot more. There's even a sleep timer which is a great feature and this player will play the last song till the end even if the timer stops. And from the settings menu you can change the order of the tab and you can also change the theme of this device so in this free version you have got three themes and if you buy the pro version you will get additional themes and equalizer with some additional features. So overall I think it's a great music player even if you opt the free version. The next app on the list is Verve. So Verve is a new app which lets you to do a lot of things. You can search for nearby places, you can see what's good to visit, find the reviews of the places posted by other users. Similarly you can search places to eat like coffee shops and all locations will have a review of it so that you can have an idea before visiting it. Then you can also search for upcoming movies, currently movies running in the theaters with the rating of that movie. Then here you have options to search for the nearby events and for all search results you can save it to view those later and get directions to them. You can even buy tickets for that event within this app. Overall it's a great app to find out stuff to do nearby and this app also has a feature that allows you and your friends to make plans together. The next app on the list is Arrow Launcher. So it's a new launcher by Microsoft which feels different than what we are actually used to. So the layout here is same though, you get a bunch of pages with the icon dock in the bottom, an app drawer, but here each page has a specific task. There are four different pages, recent, apps, people and notes and reminder. So in the recent you will have your recent notifications, the recent app that you have used. Then, then there is the most used app, so all the apps that you use frequently will be listed here. Then you will have frequently contacted people and then at last there is note and reminder where you can add a note or a reminder right from the home screen. You do not need to open any app. And swiping up from the dock brings another row of icon with some options. It's something similar to iOS but with more options and customizability. And as any other launcher you can change the icon pack, hide applications and change a bunch of stuff so overall if you want to try something new on your device just give it a try so that's all about this video i hope that you have found some application for yourselves and if you know of any other app worthy to be in such videos do let me know in the comment section below and do subscribe for more videos and follow me on social medias so thanks for watching have a great day